Looking for a 4G antenna? Unsure where to start? We're here to help. Stay tuned. Just a quick note before we get started. Although we'll be recommending pointing antennas throughout this video for their excellent performance, you can take the principles outlined here and apply them to your brand of choice as well. Is the antenna going to be moving while you're using it? Here we're determining whether you're on a boat, coach, RV, or some other moving vehicle. If you are, you'll immediately be looking for an omnidirectional antenna rather than a directional one. That's because if you're a moving target, the orientation of your antenna relative to any base station will change as you move through space. Omni antennas, which can transmit and receive RF energy in any direction, don't require a fixed orientation, so can be used here. By the way, if you want a detailed overview of the high-level factors to consider when purchasing an antenna, we have a dedicated blog post on that subject, which is linked in the description below. If you're mounting your antenna on a boat at sea, then you'll want a marine antenna. These are typically strongly water and weatherproofed with some kind of salt-resistant coating to guard against corrosion. They're also typically larger, with high gain, giving them good range, which you'll need while out to sea. Pointing's Omni 291s are IP68 rated and meet the standards for resistance to salt spray. Since these are CISO antennas, best performance is acquired by using two together to create a MIMO array. Be sure to space the antennas at least 60 centimeters apart horizontally and vertically too if you can to create the necessary spatial diversity. If you need something smaller, the Omni 403 or MIMO 3 version 2 models both fit these specifications too and will be better options for you. By the way, we'll be providing links to all the products we mentioned down in the description, so be sure to check those out. If you're mounting the antenna to a road vehicle, then it won't need to be weatherproof to quite the same degree but it will need to be able to withstand the shocks and bumps of the road, as well as being exposed to the elements. Size is likely to be more of a factor, especially if you're passing under bridges with an already large vehicle, so we'll be recommending something with a flatter profile than our marine pick. For this application, we'd recommend the MIMO 3 version 212. With its low profile, omnidirectionality, and IP and IK ratings, this fits our purposes perfectly. If you need Wi-Fi and GPS as well as cellular, choose the version 215 instead. Pointing's Puck 5 also fits these specifications, so it could also be worth considering, though will not perform as well due to its much smaller size. If you're not moving, you're looking for a fixed wireless access solution, which opens up the possibility of using a directional antenna. Whether you use one or not depends, to put it simplest, on whether you're in an urban or rural area. Why is this? Well, in urban areas, direct line of sight to your local mast is much more difficult to achieve since there are more buildings getting in the way. Signals from the base station will reflect off of buildings in an unpredictable manner, making orienting an antenna precisely to catch these reflections almost impossible. An omnidirectional antenna, which again can effectively receive signal from any direction, solves this problem. By the way, if you're finding this video helpful, please do click that thumbs up button. It really helps us to keep bringing you content like this. If you can see your base station from where you'll be mounting your antenna, then choose a directional one. For this, we would recommend the Xbol 2 5G. You could use a Yagi style antenna here like Pointing's LDPA 92 LTE, but this model is so powerful in its directionality that you'll need a professional to install it for you. The Xbol 2 5G is much more forgiving in the installation process while still providing excellent performance. As an alternative, if you want to save a bit of money at the expense of the 5G readiness of the 5G model, you can go back a generation and get yourself the original Xbol 2. Still performs very, very well. As discussed, directional antennas won't be so suitable if you're in an urban location. Omnidirectional antennas will be best, but if space is at a premium, you won't want anything too large. For that reason, the main consideration here is whether or not you can mount the antenna outside. If you have to mount it inside, it will need to be smaller so it doesn't get in the way, and ideally will give you the option to mount directly onto a window for minimal obstructions between the antenna and the signal you want to receive, which will boost performance. 
The best fixed wireless access antenna in urban locations for our money would be the Xbox One 5G. Whether you're mounting indoors or outside, it has excellent performance across a wide range of frequencies and is 5G ready for those areas with access to the technology already. It also comes with a suction cup window mounting option, so it takes care of that consideration too if you're mounting inside. If you're willing to sacrifice some performance in exchange for a lower price, Pointing's Puck 2 also fits these specifications. Choosing an antenna can be tricky and even a little daunting for the uninitiated. We've done our best to keep this as simple as possible to give you a strong leg up in the buying process. Since you've watched all the way to the end, please do consider subscribing and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. We really would appreciate it. Remember that although we recommend pointing antennas, you can take these principles and apply them to any antenna you find online. And remember too to check out the article linked in the description if you want more detail on the key principles to bear in mind while looking for an antenna. Thank you for watching NetXL. We'll see you in the next video.